All right, today we're going to talk about exponential versus linear growth. Uh, so let's start by defining a couple terms. Uh, linear growth occurs when a quantity grows uh, by the same absolute amount each time. Okay, that's that idea of absolute that we want to associate with linear. It's a constant growth every single time. So if I say it's going to grow uh, two percent or two two people in the population, then on day one it's two, on day two it's four, on day three it's six, on day four it's eight. I'm adding the same amount every time. The absolute growth every single time is constant. It's the same. All right. The second type of growth we're going to refer to is called exponential growth. And this occurs when the same quantity when the quantity grows by the same relative amount or same percentage in each unit of time. So one way to think about this is a population is going to grow 10% each year. So 10% of 100 is 10. Uh, and at the end of the first year, you went from 100 to 110. Now 10% of 110 is now 11. And so at the end of the second year, you've added 11 instead of 10. So the amount that you add uh, increases or decreases based on the percent uh, that the population is growing by. Okay, so graphically, let's take a look at how these two um, growth factors impact how long it takes something to grow. Uh, so we're going to start off with a population of 10,000 here. Now notice in straight town, this is a linear growth, so it's adding the same amount each time. Uh, the first time it hits 20,000 looks about there, sort of an estimate. Uh, take that back. Looks like it hits about there. So it takes about 25 years for it to double. And then it never, um, and actually, ne as far as we can tell on this graph, it's like way past 50 by the time it gets to 40,000. Whereas in Power Town, you start off at 10,000. And about here, so it looks like about 14 years, you've now doubled to 20,000. Uh, and then here, we've doubled the 20,000 to 40,000. Looks like about 28 years or so. And then we've gone to 40 to 80,000. Uh, looks like about 42 years or so. Uh, and so that's sort of the power, um, pardon the pun, that's power behind power uh, functions in that if you've got a percent growth rate, you will notice a lot larger growth uh, than versus a straight constant linear growth. Okay, in each of the following, uh, state whether the growth or decay is linear or exponential, and then answer um, the associated question. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, a, the number of students at Wilson High School has increased 50 in each of the past four years. If the student population is 754 years ago, what is it today? Okay, so they're adding 50 every year. So in four years, they add 50. Uh, I'll try that again. Four years, they add 50. Means they're going to add 200. So this is definitely a linear growth. And then today, they're going to have the 750 plus the 200, so they'll have 950. Uh, B, the price of milk has been rising 3% per year. If the price of milk was $4 a year ago, what is it now? Okay, well, the 3% means that we're growing by a percent, so that would be an exponential growth. And uh, $4 a year ago, so I want to figure out what 3% of 4 is, and I'm going to want to go to get a calculator for that. So let me do that. All right, so 0 0.03 uh, times 4 is 12, so 12 cents. And if I add that to the initial $4, 
that means it now costs me four dollars and twelve cents so sorry point one two so it is four dollars and twelve cents now uh, C tax law allows you to depreciate the value of equipment by two hundred dollars per year if you purchased the equipment three years ago for a thousand dollars what is its depreciated value uh, today okay so we're gonna depreciate a constant amount uh, so that puts it at a linear growth or linear decay uh, and if it's two dollars two hundred dollars per year then three times the two so it's going to decrease by 200 every year puts that at six so then a thousand minus the 600 would be at 400 so if that was possible then we'd it'd be worth about four hundred dollars today Uh, the memory capacity of the state-of-art state computer storage devices is doubling approximately every two years. If the company's top-of-the-line drive holds 16 terabytes today, what will it hold in six years? Okay, so uh, got to be careful on the wording here. It's doubling every two years. Uh, think back to that graph between Power Town and uh, Straight Town. Uh, it makes more sense that that would be an exponential. More importantly, it's it's a percent growth every two years. So every two years, it's going to be 100% 200% every two years. So that's another reason why it's exponential. Um, what will it be in six years? Well, let's see. Uh, it's going to double every two years. So at now, at 16, at the two-year mark, we're going to double that. So we'll be at 32. At the four-year mark, we're going to double that and be 64. And at the eight-year mark, we're going to double that and be 128 uh, terabytes. Sorry, six years will be 128 uh, terabytes. So it'll hold 128. Uh, e, the price of a high-definition television has been falling about 25% per year. If the price is $10,000 today, what do you expect it to be in two years? Okay, so we've got a decay. It's by a percent. So this is definitely an exponential. Uh, let's kind of do this one stage at a time. So in one year, it's going to go down by 25% uh, of the 1,000. And that's actually 250. Okay, so it's a thousand minus the two fifty. So in one year, it's not going to be worth seven hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, the second year, it's going to go down another twenty five percent. So twenty five percent times the seven fifty. Uh, that would be worth typing that in the calculator. So point two five times seven fifty. And I get uh, it's 187.5. Uh, but I want to subtract that. So I want 750 minus the 187.5. Uh, puts it at 562.5. Okay, so based on this model, it would be worth $562.50.